The double barrel, kinda it sucks. Yeah. Before you go crying about it, let me explain. I was doing true champion once. I had goggles, two double barrels, and an ass full of double barrel shells. I should have won this fight since the double barrel is a close range weapon. I even had bricks so I could blind the mercenaries. It just makes no sense. Hold on, what did you say? Who the heck? Johnny Tactical USA back live. Today I'm going to prove you wrong. Hey, this is my video. The double barrel does not suck. It's you that sucks. The double barrel is actually a really good weapon. First of all, we have to go over the weapon stats. The double barrel does 200 damage each shot. Each shot will stun the enemy and knock them back a far distance. The double barrel can one shot a drone and destroy a vest in one shot. The double barrel does not fire volleys and fires one shot per click. The double barrel takes one second to aim and has a two second cooldown before it can fire again. However, you cannot move while firing the double barrel and you also cannot move during its two second cooldown. To balance out its power, the double barrel has the shortest range of every weapon in the game, being 30 stuns. As long as the target is unobstructed and within range, the double barrel will always hit its shot. Finally, the double barrel shotgun holds two powerful shotgun shells, and my boxes hold 10 shells each. You make it sound so good on paper, yet in actual gameplay, it's totally shit. It depends on how you use it. No it doesn't. The double barrel is terrible in every situation. Its only good quality is the damage, but you have to risk so much just to deal 200 damage to an enemy. Literally any other weapon can do that, but from a safer distance. Example, the battle rifle can put out around 500 plus damage from long range while the double barrel can only put out 400 at very short range. Okay, fine, the double barrel does lack versatility. It's more of a situational weapon and not a weapon you would use all of the time. Like what situation? Running into mercenaries and dying? You died there because the double barrel was not fit for the situation. The double barrel is designed to be an ambushing weapon that can take out strong enemies one by one. You can't charge groups of armed enemies head on with the double barrel because it isn't designed to work in that situation. He has a situation where the double barrel would work. You're on top of the watchtower and you wait for mercenaries to climb one by one. It works since this spot eliminates the double barrel's range and speed weakness, and the damage allows you to kill quickly. Now, if you use it in a place like the impact zone, it won't work because of the double barrel's weak range and speed. That's the point of situational weapons. They're most effective when used in very specific scenarios. Being less versatile and unreliable is part of the double barrel, but that doesn't mean it's a bad weapon. It's all about the situation. My summary, the double barrel is only good in certain situations. That's why everyone throws away a double barrel when they find literally any other weapon. Other weapons could do the job better. For your watchtower example, you could also use the light machine gun, combat shotgun, submachine gun, revolver, even the energy lancer, and it would still work better than the double barrel. You said the double barrel is meant to be an ambushing weapon. However, there are way better alternatives. The double barrel is just a crappy downgrade of the combat shotgun. Let me make a chart for you. It's called, the double barrel sucks. We're gonna compare this weapon to the combat shotgun and revolver, two other situational weapons. Scenario 1, you fight mercenaries at spider's perch. Combat and revolver destroy the mercenaries because they have good range. Double barrel has bad range so no scenario 2, you fight mercenaries at watchtower, combat and revolver clap cheeks, but double barrel is so slow that mercenaries rush up and shoot you. Scenario 3, you fight a drone user in the lab, the revolver lets you peek and shoot so the drone won't activate, and the combat shotgun kills the drone and drone user quickly with ease. The double barrel's long aim time gives the drone user time to move. You miss, and the drone shoots you while you are waiting for the 2 second recovery time. My summary, any weapon does everything better than the double barrel. The double barrel sucks. You're still wrong. Fine, let's make a poll then. I'm gonna prove you wrong so bad. You don't even know how to use YouTube. Shut up. Click the community tab. Shut up I know. Now click poll. Bro I swear. <laughs> Alright uh let's see. Who is better? Me or Johnny Poopoo USA? Hey give me that. Damn it. Everyone's gonna vote me so there's no poll. Can you just write the poll already? You were the one making off topic polls. Shut up bitch. You are so bad at typing. You do it then. What the? Alright, now we wait! Let's go check the poll now. Community tab! I know, I know, I know. You're doing great! Shut up, I have vision problems. <laughs> Look, that's you in the video! That was very embarrassing. Haha! Ah! <laughs> Look at that. The double barrel does suck. Wait, we have to read the comments! End of discussion. Double barrel bad.
No, all claims must be backed up with evidence. You just don't want to accept the fact that you've lost. Look at this comment. No. See, like I said before, works against exploiters. That's not an argument. It's a fact. You're denying it because you exploit. Shut up, bitch.